So today we will be taking a look at how you can make this sweet little pen stand that I made by using these magazine paper rolls. This is a great looking paper craft that you can make out of waste material and here I used only magazine paper sheets to make it. It looks quite good and is going to seek attention if you place it on your table. But before we get into the video let's have a look at all the essentials that you will need in order to make it. First and foremost you will need paper to make these paper rolls and as I mentioned I am using old magazine paper sheets to make them. Then you will need to have something like this or something similar to it in shape. This is an iron skewer but if in case you cannot find anything like this then you can use a pen refill it is also going to work just fine. Then you will need some adhesive for sticking paper rolls and ultimately I will be using this leftover circular cardboard roll for getting a reference shape to the pen stand. So with all the essentials out of the way let's jump right into the procedure and what do you exactly need to do in order to make this pen stand. So I made this pen stand using a total of 42 paper rolls and these rolls are quite thick. This is just because I rolled in a good amount of paper in before completing the roll. Now making this pen stand is relatively easy but you should be knowing an appropriate way of making these paper rolls. Other important thing is the rolls should be having a very similar diameter otherwise the pen stand in the end is not going to look good. Now here is a very important tip that I want you all to consider. So if I just start rolling the paper like this then it is going to be very difficult to roll and in the end I will be getting a roll which is a bit thicker than what I want. But if I start rolling the paper from the corner then it will be a lot easy to roll but in this way I will be making a roll which is thicker in the middle and is thinner at the corners and we don't want that. We are looking for paper rolls which have equal distribution of paper throughout the roll and to achieve it just take the rectangular paper sheet and make paper cuts like this. So now we have a corner to start the roll and in this way it will be a lot easy to roll and we will end up making a roll which is having equal distribution of paper throughout. So it is highly suggested that you use this method of making paper rolls in order to get the best results in the end. So by now you know how to make these paper rolls in an appropriate way and it's time to stick them together. So just use some glue and start bringing the rolls together. Now here we will be using the leftover circular cardboard roll to give a reference shape to the pen stand and to do that I will be sticking the rolls inside the cardboard roll. Will not stick the rolls to the cardboard roll and instead I will be using it to give a reference shape to the pen stand. It might get a bit tricky to stick the rolls while keeping it in a circular roll but with little patience it will be very much possible. At this point I finished sticking almost 60% of the rolls inside the cardboard roll and now it's time to bring all of them out and I will be sticking the remaining rolls first and then will join it to the bigger bunch ultimately. While sticking these rolls make sure you are aligning them properly in length to avoid any uneven output in the end. From here there is nothing much to it and now I will be using some cardboard to make the base. I made a rough sketch of the circular base that I will need to cut. We'll place it between the rolls and then in the end we'll be putting in some glue to cover the spaces between the base and the rolls. So in this way you can have yourself a great looking pen stand without needing to use anything apart from old magazine paper sheets. So this is all I have for you in this one. I hope you like the video and if you want me to keep making videos like this then please show your support by pressing the subscribe button and like button down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.